event handlers just add ioc dependencies right click build path configure build path add library user library just add spring iocs yeah and right here listener classes that listeners will execute on some events so here first implement one start event ioc start event listener so this listener should execute on start you need to implement it from application context application listener so implement it from application listener on application startup you need to implement it start context start event just change compiler 1.7 yes so this event handler method this method will execute context start event csc yeah this context start event will execute on ioc start on ioc start method you need to call start method whenever you try to call that method then it will execute this handler here and you can write ioc stop event stop event listener implement it from application listener and apply here context stopped event then here this statements will execute on stop and implement one more bean ioc refresh on refresh a listener refresh event listener implement it from application listener and the event context refreshed event implement refresh method on application event context to refresh so it will execute on refresh on refresh method and while container startup while container startup it will execute and as well as for refresh method also it will execute it and we have one more ioc close ioc close event implement it from application listener and the event is context closed event so on close method it will execute it on ioc close method now configure this classes in xml file and load it into configurable application context <coughs> container configured this four beans here bean class 
beans dot the first class name context start event you can configure in any order based on their events only they will execute context start event one is refresh event one is close event and one is stop event yeah so to do event handlings which container we have to use we have three ioc containers right we have two types one is core and one is j2w bean factory is not suitable bean factory it is only for doing instantiation it can instantiate pojos and it can do dependency injections and annotations and all these things we can't able to execute by using bean factory to achieve i18 n and for the remaining all the features proxies we should not use bean factory we should go through application context and application context container is not suitable to manage life cycles right to call life cycle destroy methods which container we need to use configurable application context container only we have to use and for this event handling also we have to use configurable application context okay so this configurable application context container is it is child class for actual application context so here use this configurable application context instead of doing through application context configurable application context use this container yeah so while container startup itself it need to execute which event refresh event listener it need to execute so whenever you try to start it on refresh method and while container startup so while container startup it is executing here right so this statement actually it is from refresh event listener and if you want to call start cap dot you can call start method whenever you call start method for that start event it will execute on ioc start method it will execute and if you want to call stop cap dot you can call stop on stop that stop event listener executing here if you want to close it cap dot close while doing close operation what it will do it will execute all the it will execute all the destroy methods bin destroy methods and as well as it will destroy all the singleton objects means all your beans it will destroy in case in your application if you have some like 1000 bean classes configurations in this xml file that 1000 bean classes objects when it will create while loading into ioc that all 1000 bean classes objects it will destroy while calling cap dot close method so on close if you want to write anything on close if you want to write anything on this close event you can write on this close event you can write so while container close if you want to execute anything while container startup if you want to execute anything you can write and again if you want to call that refresh method here we have one more method i was a container refresh method so whenever you you call refresh method once again what it will do it will instantiate all the bean classes you can see here pre instantiating singletons so refresh method is like once again container startup so you can use this refresh method like restart event you can use it like restart event that close method is for shutdown event okay on startup if you want to execute anything under context startup you can write on refresh if you want to write anything like refresh is for doing bean instantiations only so if when I, whenever you try to call refresh method what happens here again it will start your ioc container and it will do all the pre instantiations your singleton objects automatically it will create again okay on refresh yeah only this four event handlers we have and these event handlers are for stand alone applications okay in rare cases for web applications we no need to use this okay in case of stand alone applications these event handlers may useful okay 